Welcome back to YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. So uh, I started the day off with re-downloading Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I haven't played it for well over just under a, a year. I thought I'd re-download it. There was so many problems with it, so I uninstalled it about eight or nine months ago. But I wanted to get back into the game. So uh, it's been downloading steadily. You might have seen the video earlier on. I got to about 85 gigabyte. And then for some reason, it just stopped. Uh, the, the game crashed. The actual installation just crashed. It just wouldn't do anything on my screen. I uploaded a short, showed you. Uh, I've also uh, recorded some of the footage, and I'll probably do that in a separate video. But Microsoft Store, it's, it's really strange. If I go to gaming, uh, if I search for Microsoft Flight Simulator, I want to re-download it. I don't know whether what's happening, you know, it should be pressing, I should be able to press play. Doesn't seem to want to do anything. I don't know if anyone else is suffering with any problems at the moment trying to download stuff from the Microsoft Store. If I go back to, so it just said, uh, please try again later. We go to Roblox. We'll try and download that. Same thing's happening again. Doesn't want to do anything. Uh, super strange. And it's really annoying getting to 85 gig. Uh, I still had another 35 or something like that, 35 gig to download. But the servers have been super slow. It took about eight and a half hours to download 85, 86 gig. And uh, for it to crash around about the same time as the uh, the store uh, is having problems uh, is super annoying. I don't know whether I've got to reinstall the whole 85 gig or will it just uh, uh, take off from where it crashed uh, super annoying if I've got to download the whole game again like I was originally doing uh, I don't think I'm going to bother it's just uh, it just takes so long and that was the whole purpose that was the whole reason why I actually installed and installed Microsoft Flight Simulator in the first place with the uh, crash into desktop didn't have a problem when the game first came out uh, I bought the game on the day of the release, all them uh, months ago or years ago, whenever it was, uh, and I didn't have a problem for you know three or four months. There was a couple of updates, didn't seem to have a problem, but when it got to update four, five, six, and seven, they were just constant crash into desktop. So eventually, I just uh, uninstalled it off the SSD and forgot about it. But now I want to get back into the game, and it looks like I can't because Microsoft are definitely having some sort of uh, issue on their store, which is causing uh, very slow downloads, causing them to crash. And when you get so far into a download and that happens, uh, it's really disappointing. So will I be able to uh, re-download it from where it crashed or do I have to start it again? If that's gonna be happening, I shall be asking Microsoft for refunds. It's just uh, it's a really poor uh, game uh, after the updates that are causing the crash into desktop yeah, when it first came out didn't have a problem whether it was this uh, the Xbox when it switched over to Xbox when they had that big launch for the uh, Xbox Series S and uh, X uh, that's when a few problems come out uh, I think the last time I played it was when they had the uh, Top Gun uh, update for it uh, wasn't running too bad then but I did get the on crash to desktop so i thought i'd put that out there if you're having problems downloading anything on microsoft store you're not the only one i'm having that too uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you do like these sort of videos and i'll get back to you with any more uh, news or updates with uh, microsoft flight simulator 2020 thanks for watching